Hello everyone, it's me Gameslay99, aka No Brainer, and welcome to Uh I don't have it. <clears throat> One second. Damn it. Uh welcome to Mortis Invitational. Um Second episode, second uh, round for me. Uh which is actually the third round I think, but yeah, I don't have this, so I better 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 download it. My Ahsoka Callus deck. My opponent, I banned, my opponent is Viker. Viker is probably the best player in Destiny. Uh, I <clears throat> banned his Kaede Mundi and he banned my Sai Snootles and I was going to play Sai Snootles, uh, Snootles deck, but that didn't happen. <clears throat> there we go. This is literally first time trying it. There we go. All right, Ahsoka Callus. Let's let's see how this works. Okay. Problem is, he banned Sai Snootles and I banned Kaiomundi. I could have banned Leia because he had a lot of mill, but I didn't because I was thinking, hey, I've got a Kira Sai Snootles deck and it will destroy Leia mills. Um, <clears throat> so I banned something that wasn't Leia mill in the hopes he would ban something else and then that would work. But no, he figured out the size Snootles needed banning and now he's got the Leia. And the Leia will destroy me. Um, there's not much I can do about it, but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna see what happens. Uh, I do also have a Yoda, but the Yoda falls to the Obi-Wan because I had a choice between banning Obi-Wan, basically between banning Obi-Wan, Kaiomundi, or, um, Leia. And I chose to ban the Kaiomundi. Because Kaede Mundi destroys the Kira deck, right? That was the idea. Kira deck is still pretty good against the Obi deck, but uh, yeah, that was the idea. So I've got the uh, got the Obi's lightsaber start, and I've got the lightsaber pull to pull a um, a Soka saber. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. I better pull up his deck list as well. <sighs> yeah. Um, I have the Luke's offers in here, right? Yeah, so I should be able to... If I keep the lightsaber pull and toss the weapon, that just sounds the smartest thing for me to, for me to do. So let's just toss the other four. Well, the lightsaber pull is milling myself for one, actually. So let's keep the Obi lightsaber, because I'm actually milling myself for one whenever I play the, the lightsaber pull. So let's, let's keep the Obi. I have that as the only one. Okay, there's the Ahsoka's lightsaber. There's a Veteran of War and a Pacified at Jarkai. Mm, Jarkai is pretty good here, if I can afford to get it down. Unfortunately, I, uh, all weapons. Um, four, yeah. Against two, three, okay, cool. Um, we'll go with mine because he has a lot of zeros. He has a lot of zeros. And uh, this can get me a nice little training lightsaber. So the cool part about this deck is that I can get a training lightsaber and an Ahsoka saber on turn one against Ahsoka, which is pretty, pretty strong. Um, yeah, so it's playing event, yeah, so. See how this goes, GLHF. Uh, he isn't in the call. He, didn't, he doesn't have the ability to go for microphones, so... We will see. Uh, I don't know if Rebel Trader is uh, streaming this. I think he is. Uh, yeah, he is. All right. Uh, we will start just by looking at that hand. What do we have to play against here? What What's going on? What's going on, Mr. Viker? Let, let's see this. I can't spot the pilot, but I can see the hand. Do an indirect off of it. Utility belt. First aid. More by motivate and motivate. No removal start, but has the Morai, so he can do the layer thing and the max thing early on. Okay. Okay, so going for layer start is not the smartest thing. Alright. Um. Go ahead. I can't spot a pilot. So you keep it. I can't actually get rid of those motivates, but I can with Callus um, remove a motivate. And Ahsoka can hit really hard early on. 
Uh, yeah, there's a resource generation right there if he wants to take that. Um... Go ahead and start with the callus roll. Let's see. Maybe I get some discards. Get get him scary like that. No, nope, but I get a resource. Great. So that can get me my Soaker's lightsaber and my Jarkai down. Motivate. Take the extra money. Makes sense. Um, I'll take my one money. He doesn't have anything to spend his money on yet. He'll roll in Leia, I'll pacify him, and then I will steal his Motivate if I can, if he doesn't use it on whatever the Leia's other die is. Blank and a resource. Okay, you know what? I'll let him motivate it, I think. That is pretty terrible. Uh, let's go ahead and play an Ahsoka Saber down. I'm giving him infinite money here. This might be a mistake, but... Um... The infinite money I don't have to let him deal with right now. He, his, his, his curve is low. His curve is low. So. We will see what he wants to do with this. Okay. Let's, uh... Let's, um... Jockey. So I have a Jockey start, which is pretty good. I guess a discard and a double shield there. Don't like the fact that he's got a double shield there. Um... This guard hit one of these two, I don't particularly care. Let's just pacify that. It's a shield for a shield, but I'm putting the shields on the patient pad one rather than on the layer. I know he has the um, field medic, but we'll see what happens with that. Um, oh, I guess he could motivate the discard side. Yeah, that, that might have been smart then to get rid of the motivate. No, it's character dice only, right? Motivate's character die only. Yeah, character dice only. Now I can get rid of that Motivate with my Callus PA. Or I can get- or I can roll out and try for the other thing. I think I'll roll out, see if I hit a resource side, because if I don't hit a resource side, then I will definitely get rid of that Motivate. Okay. So the train lightsaber is a bit awkward here because it deals because it doesn't get increased by Jarkai, and if I play the thing, it has to decrease by one as well. But uh, this represents a four and a six, representing a lot, basically. Yeah, who's he putting it on? Yeah, okay. Makes sense. It makes a lot of sense because he's going to heal up for four. So with that in mind, let's power action callus. Get rid of his motivate. Keep let him keep his first aid. He has to take an indirect somewhere. Patient pad one. Okay, because I can do seven damage here. So this patient pad one at nine health. I mean, he's looking somewhat damaged. He's gonna roll out more with that. Yep, makes sense. And then it can immediately resolve. And if it gets goes into a focus side, he can then turn to the layers discard side and hit the discard. Yeah. Because it allows you to immediately resolve after rolling out. Morai is pretty strong. I'm amazed. I'm not amazed, but I am surprised that it's uh, is a thing. Like, like the fact that he gives the charm along with all this is pretty pretty strong in a layer deck. 
Get him some money. Okay. Just wants money. I've done the equivalent of getting rid of that with a motivate. I'm perfectly okay with this. And I'm going to be using the other one for a reroll anyway, so. Yeah. So my choice is either to attack the patient pad one and put him to like two health left. Or to go for the layer. If we put him to max, that puts him to like four health left. No. So six, seven against ten puts him to three health left. The thing is though, killing Leia wins me the game. You can put one into Leia, we'll see what happens. It would cost me two because I would override the Jockeye for it, basically. I lose the Veteran of War, cool. I will hit him for... Um, seven, yep, heal him. And then Ahsoka gets to roll out and potentially do that again. Double blanks, that's a shame. He'll claim, I'll discard and see if I hit him for a billion. No, damn it, I just get two resources. That is a shame. That could have been a dead layer right there. You see, that's why I brought this deck in against the uh, against the mill because that could have basically been a dead layer. <laughs> Cares about charm a lot. Okay. All right, Phoenix Nest. Um, both of them is a bit awkward. Both create dragon bones as well. It's a bit awkward. Again, only one event. So I do get to balance the force and then do whatever the heck he has in his hand with the other one, I guess. Alright, let's see what he gets. Let's just balance that. Two, four, five, two, four, five. Zero. Want to play it? He could play it for the two shields. He's just not going to get rid of my dice very well. No. Yes. Okay. He's taking his shields. Alright. Uh, let's go ahead and play Crit Dragon Bones. Now, this should hit zero a lot. <laughs> uh, I mean, it could hit some ones. It's not going to hit twos. All threes. Let's see a random card in my opponent's hand here. A one. Okay. Uh, discard the top card of that deck. Nice! That would have been helpful. And then an indirect. Why is this uh, stuck here? Uh, there we go. Alright. And then he gets to Morai as a result. Yep. Immediately resolve, turn to the two shield side, get the two shields. Yeah. 
But I know he has a, um, what was that, deep meditation of his own. Yep. Take shields. Gain shields from the max. Yep. Should have killed the Padawan. <laughs> what was that card? Well, let's just go ahead and callous here. Let's see what I'm working with. On guard, nullify, deep meditation, balance the force, Vendu's foresight. Okay, so it was balance the force, Vendu's foresight. Um, it's got nullify as well, and the on guard, which are all awkward. He's got a lot of the. He's got all the removal he needs here, basically. Yeah, I'm just gonna get rid of his nullify. And then an indirect. Okay. Yeah, I suppose I should have gone for the patient pad one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Callus, let's go. Let's put some pressure on him. I know that he has nothing but removal in there, so I'll gladly resolve this discard side. I think. Then again, he has nothing but removal in the deck. Well, we'll resolve the discard. Worst card to have hit. And the other three can remove my dice, that one couldn't. Well, one of them turns. Deep Meditation turns. He has seen what my hand is already. But okay. <laughs> nah. It would have been fine. Uh, resolve the melee first. Twelve health, ten health. Go for the twelve health. Two, four, five, two, four, two, four, six. Uh, balance gives a re shield now. Didn't realize that. Balance gives a shield now. Right, uh, Leia. Okay, special is fine because that lets me go ahead and grab the Obi's lightsaber. Resource isn't good because I have this plus two melee. <laughs> we probably should get rid of that special, but he doesn't. Okay, I lose a crit. I'll resolve this as one into lair and then grab myself the Obi's lightsaber for one resource. Rolling it into the pool. I still have two weapons out. And it's a plank. Of course it is. Oh, 
Anyways, we just got... I'm rerolling all three because I know he has removal, so being able to remove that would be a pain. The focus, I mean, if he deep meditates it, probably to a blank or something. To the plus two, okay. Yep. Ah, uh, Luke's offer. Okay. Um, we turn the... He has deep meditation. He has... We discard this. Okay, we got the balance. That's what I wanted to hit. Because the... Um, Bendu's does, isn't guaranteed. Bendu's is not guaranteed. Flip to the two melee. Oh, that was a double focus. I could have totally flipped the Ahsoka die to the to the other two. Not a three. Okay. I can't do anything with the shield anyway. That was a mistake. Uh, yep. He claims. I get to roll these dice back in. Come on, hit them! Nope. Come on. Uh, I could play this. I could resolve the die and play this. Hmm. Hmm. Do I want to play a phoenix nest? No. We'll save the resource. Yes! Uh, four plus three is five. Uh, wait, four, yeah. No, four plus three. Four I mean, if you wanna... Is it? Three plus four. Oh god, yeah. Seven, not five. I am terrible. I keep forgetting Jarkai. Jarkai. We are the best players in the world, clearly. Uh, Alright, that worked. That worked, guys. Alright, game one to me against a Leia Mill deck. That is, that is beautiful to see. That is absolutely beautiful to see. The fact you didn't have anything... Removal wise, that's huge. Uh, four. More, more than four. Two, three, four. Yeah. And a pull. So, really, five. You only need to, mull to hard mulligan for one. 
Ah, my, my space bar is really messed up, guys. Alright, game number one, to me! <laughs> okay, hmm. Okay, hmm. Alright, so, will he play the exact same deck? Maybe. The Ahsoka Callus is pretty good. The Ahsoka Callus is pretty good. And I worry that he might bring out the exact same deck and that would be a problem for me. Um, Tarkin's not too bad. Tarkin Talzin is not too bad into that. It's very expensive, so if the layer PA hits something big, I'm in a lot of trouble. But it can also just hit really, really hard. Um, Kalos Obi-Wan isn't as good as Ahsoka, but it has the, uh, Guardian, so it's a lot better as, like, a, a more mid- mid-level strategy. Yeah, he's still got the Obi-Wan. He's still got the Obi-Wan deck. The Ahsoka deck, the Obi-Wans. He's got Obi- He's got obi Ayla. Obi-Wan does really well into the Ahsoka Kalos. Because Ahsoka's all about that Jarkai. The Bane deck wouldn't be amazing into the mill, but it wouldn't be the worst in the world. It's got a lot of zeros in it. Sabine Spectres, not too awful. Um, we are going to go talk and Talzin. Sugar, I've got two of them. Which one's the more recent one? 12 of the first, 11, 11. Oh no, is this American time or English time? Okay, the solution? Delete both, load, load in a new one. The solution is to delete both, load in a new one. I don't want to bring both in because my opponent hasn't chosen yet. Okay. There we go. Let's see what Vika wants to do here. The Ahsoka Callus destroyed him. Which is just beautiful. It's exactly what I wanted the deck to do, right? Just get out that second thing, get out that weapon. The training lightsaber, he didn't... He needed to remove the special on the training lightsaber, I think, because he just didn't respect just how much damage that that was going to cause. Um, and yeah, it did. It was too much too fast. Um, my stuff isn't loading. Oh, he's going to reload. Okay. Okay, he's reloading. All right. Giving me a chance to redo this. Um, talking Talzin is what I went for. Let's go for it. Alright, this deck very simple in that it's really big red blue stuff. Smash face. Let's do some work. Kira Sun? Is this going to be Kira Sun? Because I think I'm pretty good at getting to Kira Sun. Alright, I think I'm pretty good into Kira-san, because Talzin has the heal, the self-heal. And on good rolls, I can self-heal up a decent amount here. But we'll see. We'll see if I'm wrong. There's a lot of indirect coming out of the Kira-san deck. Well, just a lot of damage in general. The idea here is that the Kira can charm um, one of me, and the sun's indirect damage affects, hits Kira to give you the resources to feed the sun. Um, his abilities to then hit for a really large damage dice. Now that said, I got a sanction, which is pretty damn good at the start of the game against the sun. Um, to the point where I probably don't want it at the start of the game, because I want it when he's got other stuff. 
Um, do I keep the doubt? Probably not. He's he's doubt is really bad into this. Woo! More five. I'm looking for stuff like Enrage, Blue Milk, you're in command now. There's Blue Milks. Alright. So with Blue Milks, I can get off a turn one Grand Moth. Um, and the turn one Grand Moth will be uh, able to do some Jala trade route shenanigans, potentially. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> I might go for the Uncompromising instead. All right, let's let's pull up uh, the, yep, yep. Okay, we're ready. We're ready. Oh right, yeah. Oh yeah, right. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. I was not expecting to play tonight, and then uh, he was like, "Oh, I'm here," and I'm like, "Oh, great." Yeah, so this is this deck runs a lot of uh, direct damage, damage from hand, just super big high damage stuff. Um, and we are going to start by looking at exactly how bad this is going to be. Come on, you know how Tarkin works. Let's have a look at the. Let's see if I can pull a. Hmm. Okay, Charm Offensive is annoying. Contentious Opportunity, not so bad. Ataru Mastery is annoying because he can play it, but he can play it regardless of what I do. The headstrong, he doesn't have the money for right this second. It can be a problem eventually. Um, I'm going to be giving him the money for Nataru Mastery with this blue milk. Or for the headstrong with this blue milk. So let's... Um, Let's get rid of my power for that headstrong. I don't mind taking damage this game. It's going to immediately charm me to turn on the charm offensive, which makes total sense. Made total sense. So I can blue milk here, but I don't get max blue milk value, which is to get a heal off. Um, so I might just roll out Talzin straight up. And walk into that uh, charm. The problem is working into that charm. If I get the uncompromising out, then I can get rid of that charm offensive. Okay, fudge it. Blue milk. Let's see, if the discard hits the uncompromising, I play another blue milk and grand moth. If he doesn't, then I can just uncompromising. And the uncompromising from Tarkin will hit the charm offensive to prevent the Talzin. Or is the Charm Offensive any character die? In which case, well, I'm still protecting Talzin's die. That's the idea here. Overriding for Entire Mastery makes sense. I also don't want to roll out Talzin too early because I want to be... Um, I want to get heals from the, from the rollout. Makes complete sense. This uncompromising die is exactly how I'm going to handle his charm offensive. I'm just going to soak up all the damage that he deals, hopefully. Two discard sides, that's annoying. He's got a special, which is also annoying. Talzin's, Tarkin's going to roll. Double focus. Double focus and a three. Four. Don't want to take a 3 for 1. Forcing him to decide if he wants to use the Charm Offensive right now. He'll be able to override Taru with the Taru next round. 
which would get him everything he needs. Does he even... He runs more more upgrades, though, right? Yeah. You can also discard to reroll, try and get some damage, because this is not damage that he's got showing right now. <laughs> this guy in the contentious going for a reroll. Okay. Okay, two range, the melee, two... F so what am I doing here? Am I focusing into the resource side? Yeah, I'm focusing into the resource side and probably the three source side. Grab a bunch of resources, play Grand Moth. Yeah, we'll go to the resources. Let's go to resources. Make him decide if he wants to charm offensive it. If he does, I'll hit the Ataru, which is fine by me. Now the only problem is I really I'm really slow. And um, Jala Trade Roots can steal money off me. Yeah, he wants more damage than just what you see in here. Which makes a lot of sense. Doesn't hit it. Sounds good to me. We'll just get rid of that last card. Second point on Grand Intel. Now, who's he going to go into? I want him to go into Talzin, because uh, I've got Rise Agains in the deck. But he might go after Tarkin. But Tarkin's got... Hit the Grand Moth. Okay. Let's uh, PA this to take a resource. Roll the die. Okay, three for one indirect. Not the best. He's the attacker, I'm the defender. I want to just be defensive right now is my thing. Let's go ahead and roll in the towels in here. One odd, so I heal one. You can focus to the three. Focus to the. Uh, I could. Hmm, 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 hmm. I could focus to two shields instead of three melee. You know what? Let's do a three for one right now and see what happens. Yeah. If he'd have taken it more on the sun, I would have focused to the three melee here. So, yeah, I think I focus to the shield side. So yeah, I've taken seven. I'll take two shields here. He'll claim, roll out the jaw trade route. Let's see what he gets. The one ranged. Alright, one more damage. I'll respond by going blue milk for that and a heal.
Okay, I took a lot of damage regardless. Right. Regardless. Alright. No rise again, but I got a sanction. Sanction's pretty good here, and I got a general. Double intel breach is interesting, because I can intel breach some blue milks. All the grand moth, all the power of the tribe. Okay, he got his three points out. Let's go ahead and talk in. This gets me three points on crucial intel, very importantly. Balance the force, two, four versus two, four, five. I'll have one extra out. Uh, charm offensive, trick, trick. Um, keep them. Why are you, your value's so low. All right. So I think here I'm probably gonna be slow with these uncompromisings. So that I can um, sanction, well, I'll go probably something like a general, sanction, uh, and then Intel Breach to grab back the sanction, I think. And that makes a lot of sense to me. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense to me. So let's go ahead and general that. General won't be hit by the tricks, that's pretty nice. Okay, he has discard sides, that's annoying. Let's go ahead and roll that token. Guess the ones, which is a no bit annoying, but oh well. So he can trick, I get rid of this one, and then I focus, yeah. Or he plays a charm offensive right now. General has a triple shield side on it, that's the idea here. Um, but, I mean, it also has a double resource side that I have rolled already, so I could just play another uncompromising off of that. Can focus a 3 for 1 indirect, resolve that as resources or something. Or resolve that as shields. That's probably the smartest play. But it is a double focus I have there. Mm -hmm. Cause yeah, he could play the other thing that gets rid of the focus directly. There's no way with two discards that he can hit both sanctions. They can hit the sanction and the intel breaches. Alternatively, I resolve the one discard. Okay, he's going to charm offensive. Remove this to remove the two. Okay. Remove the two. Okay, I'll take two resources. I'm hoping this game can go long. I'm hoping to draw some Rise Agains and some Emperors soon. Um, we'll see though.
He rolls in. Hits some blanks, hits that special, which is a bit annoying, but he's hit some blanks. He's got a triple discard showing, I guess. That is something. Hmm. Yeah, I think I just focus into the three and then uh, into the three and then let's take a look at that. And let's get rid of one of those tricks. Put the third point on Crucial Intel. All right, Crucial Intel is now online. He's going to discard a card to reroll. If it goes bad, I intel breach him. If it goes good, I'm probably sanctioning. Okay, that's bad, so I will... Intel breach. Grab his last card, and I will pick up. Um, uh, hmm. I'm thinking of what to take. Hang on. Blue milk and Grand Moff both make a lot of sense. Grand Moff can be used on the Jawa. I think I take the blue milk. I think I take the blue milk. Okay, so that's dual discard. Okay, you got the uncompromising. There was the world in which I um There was a world in which I was going in which I crucial intel to be able to play the uncompromising. Um uh, that didn't happen. Alright, Talzin roll. So he didn't hit the sanction, which is very helpful. A three and a two. Heal one. Presumably he gives cure shields. Cure shields, alright, because of the indirect... One, two, three. I will power action the three melee into the sun. Into the sun! And I hit another three! Okay! Two indirect goes into the Tarkin. Three goes into the sun. And we'll take his resource. Two goes into the sun. He'll claim, roll out, maybe hit a two for one and really hurt me. No, hit someone disrupt. All right, I lose the resource. General this, I can either hit him for, no, I will, I will take some shields with this. I will general this as a shield and I will take one to put three shields on Tal's in. Uh, no, generaled it. General for shields. And then I will blue milk to heal one, get us a resource. All right, start the next round. Still have the sanction, have another sanction now, have a magical echo, and have another general. All right, that's pretty good. No, um, no rise again, which would win me the game, but you know, this isn't too bad. I know he's got a headstrong for this magical echo, um, because I don't want to look at his discard pile to make it obvious. Uh, he's got the headstrong though, I remember that. Well, 
One melee, one discard. All right, let's look at that hand one more time. Oops, 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 oops. <clears throat> okay, one more time. Darken, let's go. Let's look at that hand. Sanction, can strike, contentious. Four cents, infamy. Ooh, infamy. Do I toss the four cents for my general? Do I toss the sanction because um, I don't want him to hit my character dice? I can get rid of his sanction and then magically call the sanction if I want to even. Let's get rid of my command I think for this. But four cents is really good. He has the money for it. If I general the four cent, get rid of my general for his four cents, I mean I am looking for a rise again at the end of the day. How many upgrades does he even run in his deck is a good question here. Um, he doesn't run a lot, right? Because he runs like the double four cents as the double retaliations. Hmm... I think I get rid of the sanction and go for the kill. Uh, get rid of the sanction for my command. Fifth point on crucial intel. Interestingly enough, I can uh, sanction Kira and then sanction the sun. Okay. Alright, this is a safe roll in because um, he can't get rid of my stuff with this. A two discard, blank there is a shame, but a two discard side. Alright. comes the four cents, remove the, di the general side, that makes a lot of sense. I hate that that's a blank. I can, um, you know, take two actions and just um, roll and resolve. Uh, focus into the triple discard to hit the last three cards of his hand. Um... That seems reasonable to hit the last three cards of his hand. What did he have? He had a... Uh, Sanction was like the only big thing. The last, rest of the stuff was like infamy and stuff. This might just be way too greedy, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to play another general. Okay, those specials are painful, those specials are painful, but I will sanction. Two, four, six. I have six cards. He has two, four, five. So the uh, deep meditation's not a thing. Not balance of the four stories. Not a thing. He didn't charm me this round, which is interesting. 
Well, no, and I can use, um, I can <laughs> Magical Echo to Chem Strike if I need to. Well, the only still has infamy as a thing. Thing is, I just need Talzin dice. Yeah, I just need Talzin dice in there, and then crucial intel focus into two sets of melee's kills. Um, but of course, that's why he's got the specials. The specials keep him alive. Yeah, this is the weakness of playing the sun, is that the sanctions a thing. With this, he does have lethal technically, but I can get I can choose um, shields with the general. Because he can go a tar roof to hit me for three, that hits me for four, and then these hit me for four, which does kill Talzin. So I have crucial intel as a thing. I can still just focus into a triple discard. Is he using it with care? Is he going for the lethal attempt? Scars the contentious. So all he has left is chem strike and infamy. Going for the reroll. Gets the special. That is annoying that he gets that special. Because when Talzin rolls out, you can use up one of the dice. I can deep med it. Would have loved that to hit the three or the focus, but oh well. I keep saying deep metal, I should be saying balance the force it. See what he wants to do now. <laughs> Tense.
I have lethal if I can roll out. Rolling out is very difficult. <laughs> We don't know if Talzin's going to heal, either. She could. He's going to go for an infamy play on me. That's going to be too slow. Play Magical Ichor. Magical Ichor will find sugar. Damn. You don't have what I thought was in here. And I don't think I can use Trick to reveal Magical Ickle. <laughs> don't think I can use Trick to reveal Magical Ickle. I thought he had the one cost remover die. Really thought you had balanced the force in here. Really thought you had balanced the force in here. Should have checked before playing. Well, that was a big mistake, guys. I've been playing for this uh, for this end game here of Balance the Force, and that's just not been a thing. The thing is, if I roll in and he infamies me for six, I win. So maybe I shouldn't care about the infamy. Because he's got to force sense me first and then blank my other die. Ah, uh, that was just such a blunder. Big blunder. Because I need my money for the rise again, so losing money like that is a big problem. Yeah, I'm just going to have to Crucial Intel roll. Just Crucial Intel roll out, hit the three, hopefully. Uh, 
I can't believe I just didn't look at his discard pile before going. I I so wanted to not reveal that I had that card, and then I just messed it up there. But it's like, he's got two cards, can't really do anything with them. I'm not scared of an infamy, I don't think. If he's doing that, he's not force sensing. But I gotta keep up my crucial intel for that. Okay, he's using it for a two damage, not a three. Is he going to hit me for another? Is he going to try for a cantrick victory? Okay, he's threatening cantrick. And I guess he's threatening Jawas to finish the job from Carlton. I think I have to take this as shields. But yeah, that magic loco could also have been a reroll because I don't want to use up my sanctuary, my, my sanction. And so that's a shame. No crucial intel on this. Let's get some odd numbers. And no kill with this either. That's not a good roll. Because I can't kill with this roll. In for me for five. I think I just take shields. I really hate to do this, but I think I just take the shields. What's the alternative? He can't can strike me. Can use this as a sh as a focus. Go to the two resources and the three melee. Not really.
Take four resources. That was such a bad roll. Wait, are you telling me that the card I thought was in there was? Just remove that die, I guess. We can rewind, or we can just say the die isn't there, I guess. Where was it? Okay, I was... I was so confident it was in there and fucked things up so... Uh, okay, I was so confident it was in there that I didn't even check the discard before playing the card. And I was so embarrassed. <laughs> I was so embarrassed. <laughs> okay, that changes everything. <sighs> I think. Yeah, keep the shields. Okay, well that changes this. Discard the sanction. Yes, I had three sanctions in hand, basically. No, didn't get shields. Two, four, six, eight. Two, four, five, six versus two, four, six. Six each. Okay, there we go. You take the three, so three, six, nine kills. Yeah, he's doing that so that you um, can kill her straight after. Okay, three, six, seven, eight. Oh, I see. Cute. The one, the two and six. Three, for five, six, seven, eight. I only need eight, so I can just take three shields on talking. Yeah, so he had the one and six of killing Tarkin there, so I have to take the uh, the shield on Tarkin. Misses, gets nothing. Focus to the two and the three. Kill him. And then this gets rid of that card. Which puts it on Crucial Intel. Crucial Intel is up to six. Just, you know, when I see he doesn't have removal, I don't need Crucial Intel. Okay, that changes everything. Hmm. 
thanks ch thanks chat presumably okay don't have the resources for a rise again but you know he's down it's just um it's just uh kira and i should be able to just shield up and win the game Grand Moth override in general? Nah. Keep what I've got. Nah, I could override the uncompromising, but nah, keep what i got. Got this rise again, I'm just gonna go for... Okay. Yep. Power action talking, roll him out. Almost certainly take shields. Unless I hit uh, a four discard. Uh, four discard is pretty good. Discard four is pretty good. I got an everybody at four cents, balance force. Yeah, I have the shields out. Discards only. Okay. Puts it on towels in. Take the three shields. Oh yeah, fourth point on crucial intel. I lose the rise again and the power of the tribe. No. Roll out towels in. Hopefully get some healing. No healing for me. Deals one damage. If I take the two resources he claims and steals the money, that would be annoying because then I have to enrage to get out this armored assault tank. Armored assault tank is probably just going to kill me. It's probably not worth it. Um, you know what? I have rerolls, so I might as well use them. Okay, focus. Three. See what happens. Mm -hmm. One in six. Oh. This is a problem. Okay. That is annoying. I guess I just discard... Uh... Thing is, I can always use it as a focus. Ah, uh, fuck it. So focus to the three. Reroll the die. Blank. Discard. Reroll it. Three nine. Um, that's pretty good. One three away from killing. That's pretty good. Uh, do I play the enrage? No, I don't. Let's 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 end there. You went up to four instead of five, so if a rise again shows up, that's a mistake on my part. There's an emperor, though. Kira rolls out. Charms me. Uh... 
I will over... Uh, do I headstrong that? It's right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Iron Nation is all energy for, yeah, yeah, he had nothing for that really. I mean, he had him for me to finish, try and finish the game off. That was the idea. Leave one in there. Crucial Intel, really good. Crucial Intel. Intel would have been really crucial. Crucial Intel, good plot. The end game there is just if I roll a three here or a three here, um, I'm golden. <laughs> that was impressive. But you could have charmed her. I was sitting on sanction round two. And then you didn't roll anything. And I had two intel breaches to get back the sanction. And then next round, I drew another sanction and a nickel. So I had three sanctions in hand twice. And I just didn't need them. I'll lose that full. That's huge. Assuming you still get the, um... No problem, man. At least we found it. If I had looked... And it wasn't there, I would have been so upset. It wasn't found. All I wanted to do... Get rid of the force sense die anyway uh, and you it's it feels bad because you definitely played as if it was there as did I but it was more crucial for you to have it But you didn't have approval anyway. I thought it might have given you the um, the option to um, Ataru onto Kira for the one damage. I thought it might have given you the option to, but that's pretty much it. Since didn't turn the die or anything with the force valor. That completely instantly just changed how I needed to play that turn though, because suddenly it's like, oh, it's on the table to just kill him. Because I needed exactly that many dice. Yeah. Tarkin Talzin, still a very good deck. Didn't get the rise again, didn't get the Emperor off, but I just made enough money and just managed to outlast him by ticking up shields. This has been me, GameSlide99, no brainer. Thank you guys so much for watching. This might be the first time I beat Viker on camera. This might be the first time I beat you on camera. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. But I also had so much focus. Yeah, maybe. I had a lot of focus, but it could have been key.
took the last 12. Uh, it took the last 11 for me to find an emperor or rise again. So there was definitely a gap you could have exploited, potentially. Alright, this has been me again, signing on, I can no brain. I've done the outro once, I'll do it again. Thank you so much for watching. Signing off.